Speaking from London, I asked you... King George VI ruled Britain from 1936 until his death in 1952. Before succeeding to the throne, the future king dreaded speaking in public because of his stammer. <laughs> which he managed to overcome with the help of an eccentric Australian speech therapist. The story has been made into a film by Tom Hooper, The King's Speech, which won critical acclaim both at the Toronto and the London film festivals. British actor Colin Firth plays King George. You know, the thing that interested me most about the, the stammer is how you can best express what it is like, how you can bring the, bring the, the, the viewer into the experience of what it must be like to try to climb out of that dreadful paralysis. What was your earliest memory? I'm not here to discuss personal matters. Well, Jeffrey Ross, who plays the speech stand. therapist, said he was impressed by Firth's performance. Our scenes were sitting in opposite each other with ten pages of dialogue. Um, and I was, I was part actor and part audience in a funny kind of way, watching him grade and refine and define all of the things that would go into that stuttering. And never once did I see a kind of technique, a technical approach to the work that, of a man acting stuttering. I constantly saw, here's a guy who really wants to say something, but can't get it out. All right. You want mechanics? We need to relax your jaw muscles, strengthen your tongue. The film you also features Helena Bonham Carter as the king's wife. Strengthening your diaphragm. Simple mechanics. Fine. The king's speech, as well as its main protagonist, Colin Firth, are already being tipped for Oscar success. Good, little bounces, bounces. The film is out now in some European cinemas and will be on US screens in November.